Hi everybody, I am Dr. Rena Chavla, your faculty for conceptual obs and gynae, and today is just going to be a brief description about what is residency all about. When you enter your first year, what are your expectations? How do you go about studying? What are you going to get from uh, these three years of your life? This is all about that. Okay, so let's start. Now remember that the sky is not the limit; it's just the beginning. Okay, and the question that should be in your mind as a first year resident is: Who do you want to be? Okay, at the end of three years, do you want to be a clinician? Do you want to be a team player? Do you want to be a leader? Do you want to be a communicator? Do you want to be a professional? Do you want to be a lifelong learner, or do you want to be all of this? And the answer should be: You want to be all of this, right? Cut. Start. And the answer is: You want to be all of these things together. And that what that's what makes a good doctor. Okay. So now, one of the primary questions that everybody asks me is, when do I study? When do I get the time? Because as soon as you enter your residency, especially if you're in a busy hospital, a busy medical college, you feel so overwhelmed. You feel so burdened. You do not know what's happening. You're running from here to there, and you're doing a lot of clerical work. You're doing a lot of ground level work, and you just seem so overwhelmed. You don't know when to study. Okay, so when I say when do you study, remember these three years of your life. The in all these three years are come. You have to understand that the hospital is going to be your home for these three years. So you're not going to get. You may not get the comfort of a nice study table or going to the library or going or just sitting with your friends and discussing uh, or studying like how would you you do in undergraduate days. You're now a doctor, okay, and your primary focus is to see the patient. But along with that, you have to try and find time to learn also. So studying is not going to be at many times. It's not going to be sitting on in your room or in the library, and you have a nice with a cup of coffee, a nice your your tablet, your iPad, your books everywhere. No, that's not going to be there. The, the situation most of the cases. So then, quest the question comes. Then, when do I study? And the answer is, you can study when you're in the ward. You you can study when you're in the labor room, when you're in the OPD, when you're in the OT, when you're having a cup of tea with your friends. This is the time when you're going to study. This is the time where you're going to assimilate information. You are going to learn from your patients. So your books. Many times are going to be the patient. They're going to be the surgeries you see. They're going to be the procedures you assist in. Okay, so you're going to be. They're going to be the ultrasounds that you witness, or the OPD. How the how your consultant is speaking to a patient, your attitude, your ethics. Everything is going to be now your learning material. So it's not only limited to your books. Everything around you is where you're going to learn from. If you're giving oxytocin in the labor room, okay, just take out your book or your phone or some whatever reading material you have and quickly read about oxytocin. Or just take the prescription paper which comes along with the medicine or the injection and read about that. Okay, so that's how you're going to learn, and it's a everyday process. So your patients are your biggest teachers. Remember this. You will never ever forget your patients. Your surgeries, whatever you witness, the surgeries you do, the OPD, the ultrasounds, so many ways ways are what is going to get you your information. So apart from these information sources, you will also also from time immemorial we've always had our books with us, okay? And there are many standard books which we will tell you as and when we go along this journey. What are your books? Which journals you'll now come across? A lot of research and journal clubs and scientific writing. So journals also become very very important. How to read those journals? Then of course you'll many of you will be having lectures and uh, this is a picture from a skills lab. We will be learning different different skills and of course then you have your YouTube, you have your social media, you have different WhatsApp study groups are now there. You have Instagram. And of course, you have us. All right. So these are going to be your information sources. 
and it's very important to get the balance right another common question um, uh, uh, which many many students ask me is ma'am how do you maintain your work life balance okay and that is a question which is actually very difficult to answer it's very individualistic how much of your life do you want to de devote to your work how much of your life do you want to devote to, you, to yourself how much do you want to devote to your family so it's very individual but whatever you want to do you have to set the balance right and that takes years and years of learning okay and for it to all come together in the end right also remember as i said the three years of your residency is when you are basically devoting your life to learning because these three years are going to form the remainder of your future years okay so it's it's important to give time to yourself but it's also important to understand that these three years is what is going to make or break you the three years of my residency which was now 15 years back is were the golden years of my life i still remember i remember just as if it was yesterday the rounds the the the, the my teachers my faculty my professors the classes the sessions the the um, sessions we used to take the presentations we used to do the conferences we used to attend it was all like if it was yesterday it's as clear in my mind today 15 years later so that's very important and also remember that learning is not only about knowledge that means it's not only about your books and learning concepts that is important but other than the knowledge is your skills okay and skills remember is not something which comes overnight learning to do a cesarean suturing an episiotomy even something as simple as putting in a foley's catheter okay and then you go on to more advanced things like nowadays laparoscopy and even beyond that robotic remember it's a continuous learning process i am still learning okay even after 15 years i am still learning there are many things i still do not know or i am still not good at and it's a process which takes time so remember skills is not something which is going to be learned overnight if you're not getting chances or you feel you're not getting chances compared to your peers in a different medical college it doesn't matter honestly it doesn't matter in the end everybody learns okay and it comes with time it comes with experience what's more important is observation okay assisting even if you're not getting to do by assisting you learn a lot and even more important in fact more important than knowledge and skills i would say is attitude your attitude or the way you talk to your patients the way you build a rapport with them remember they will remember you for life they will never forget that okay so attitude is very very important okay even if your knowledge is mediocre your skills are mediocre if your attitude is good towards the patient the patient will place her complete trust in you okay so this is very important to not ignore the attitude part and how do you learn this by watching your seniors by watching your peers you must have seen doctors who are very good at talking you might have seen some doctors who don't talk well at all so you have to learn pick up the good points okay and it's a lot depends on your personality also some are doctors are extrovert some are, some are introvert but you need to develop the right way to communicate with the patient that's very very important now some tips okay from my side to you as a resident remember when i say when you want to take time out to study remember you may not as i said get time to sit on a study table or in the library but try to make a timetable for the month and this would depend on where your posting is so if you post in the labor room you might you know you may not get enough time so make your timetable light try to cover the the labor topics during those month if you're plotting a partogram or a labor care guide you should know everything about it so take time out to study wherever you're posted okay make a daily schedule or a to do list and try to complete at least 80% of it cut <coughs> start so 80% of it even if you do is a good enough um target learn from everywhere even the nurse even the gda even the ground level staff everybody is going to teach you something remember this it's very important your junior can teach you something your colleagues of course and of course your seniors so you're going to learn from everybody around you it's a teamwork nobody is above you nobody is below you you are working as a team 
make a log book even if your uh, university may not mandate it it may not be mandatory in many places in some places it is even if it's not make a log book i always have a log had a log book at least till a few years back i would enter diligently every day when i used to come home even as a consultant what cases have i done what cases have i seen what cases have i assisted cut <coughs> start and i would note down everything in the log book okay especially as post graduates it's even more important because you need to know what you've done and you have a record of all that's there not only of cases okay this also applies to to surgical cases it also applies to clinical cases that you've seen in the ward you might have seen something very very interesting okay and noting it down jotting it down makes it easier for you to go through the case if you if you come across another case you can go look back and see how that was managed dress up every day this i think is very very important and this i think i learned many many years later is look try to look your best every single day believe me it matters it makes a huge difference in either way um uh, the 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 in, in the way people look at you your patients look at you colleagues look at you if you if you look good you feel good okay and everybody around you also it brightens up every i mean the entire atmosphere okay so dress up every day smile a lot even if you're upset even if you're tense even if you have a hundred things going to your mind be nice to everybody be kind remember this is just 3 years of your life okay don't spoil it in a bad mood or in a uh, frustrated manner appreciate the little things in life okay when a, uh, you'll be seeing a lot of births a lot of happy families happy mothers lot of babies so it's actually a very it's a very nice many of you think oh, obesity is a very toxic department try to get rid of the toxicity try not to think about the toxicity even if it may be there try to appreciate that nice the the the, the just holding a baby i'm sure that brings a smile to everybody's face right study hard but also to remember to remember to study smart okay so you have to study hard no doubt in that okay study where you can with whatever means you have at that time okay but also remember to study smart don't worry about surgical chances or cutting and i tell this to everybody who asks me ma'am where will we get cutting chances remember you will get eventually everybody learns and i have seen that i have been there so i am telling you with confidence don't worry about this what's more important is assist as much as possible okay and more important than cutting is knowing when to cut so decision making is most important okay so these are some tips from my side to you after 15 years of being a gynecologist what i have learned i'm passing this on to you when i was a resident i made a lot of i did a lot of good things i did some mistakes okay but even if i made those mistakes i learned from my mistakes okay and maybe over the next whenever you uh, hear a lecture of mine i will tell you in different topics what my mistakes were and how i learned from them documentation is very important okay and this again medical legally will play a role so even though your seniors are making you write case sheets and case sheets and making you enter investigation charts and writing so much remember that is going to be very important in the long run learn how to document what is my method of study again i will be teaching you as we go along my method of study was to make a booklet of information for every topic for example pre eclampsia or hypertension in pregnancy i would collect matter from everywhere and compile it into one single booklet but now times have changed things have become easier and everything is available on your phone on the app on the tablet online everything is available at the click of a button my method of study also included getting my partner my best friend and sitting and uh, in the evening or whenever we had time even midnight even post midnight we would take out at least half an hour to 40 minutes every day and we would in the morning we would tell each other we are going to discuss this topic okay maybe over dinner many times it would happen over dinner over a cup of coffee midnight post midnight and we would always cut hello Good evening, Vanika. Tell me. Yes, I am. 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 Yes, I am
पोस्टीरियर क्लोज है ना यही था ना ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है तो फिर देन आफ्टर थ्री ओ क्लॉक एक बार रिव्यू करके ना एक और जेल डाल देंगे अगर फाइंडिंग्स नहीं इम्प्रूव होती तो ठीक है ओके और कुछ एनी थिंग एल सी टी जी इज फाइन ठीक है हाँ लाजिक दे दिया था ना तो अभी आ गया ठीक है ओके थैंक यू नहीं नहीं और कुछ नहीं करना जस्ट कीप वॉच ऑन दी आउटपुट एंड कम होता तो लेटेस्ट नो ठीक है स्टार्ट सो स्टार्ट सो कीप डिस्कसिंग दैट्स वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड बाय डिस्कसिंग बाय डिस्कशन यू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन प्लस यू रिवाइज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू लर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली डोंट लेट अदर्स अफेक्ट यू ओके एंड दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दोज टॉक्सिक डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड ऑल्सो डोंट अफेक्ट अदर्स ओके सो दैट मीन्स डोंट पास ऑन वॉट यू आर वॉट योर सीनियर्स आर डोइंग टू यू डोंट end that circle don't continue that circle you if you have to bring about a change be that change okay so don't let others affect you don't get jealous if somebody is getting more chances than you it's all right take a deep breath do your very very best okay and you will eventually get there so don't let anything around you affect you your family your uh, uh, personal problems your uh, uh, arguments with your friends okay try not to let it affect you it takes time it takes practice but eventually remember this will help you in the long run and as i said be the senior you'd want for yourself okay so if you wanted a good senior and you didn't get one do do the same to your junior when your junior batch comes in be the senior you'd want for yourself okay and lastly find time for yourself okay i know this may be difficult i have already told you 3 years you're going to be in the hospital but take that one hour every week out go to the salon go shopping buy something new take a walk in the park okay so you have to spend 3 years in the hospital but yes do take out time for yourself because that is very very much required if you don't take that time out for yourself you're going to it's it's going to be a spiral of uh, a never ending work so that's very important one hour a week is your time is me time okay and do whatever you want in that time all right so remember um uh, this is one of my favorite authors atul gawande is a surgeon in the us of indian origin and he's written two books so again one of my advice to you as residents is when you're entering this field um uh, as a resident uh, please read these two books better and complications both written by him and he said to become a doctor you spend so much time in the tunnels of preparation head down trying not to screw up trying to make it from one day to the next that it is a shock to find yourself at the other end with someone shaking your hand and asking how much money you want to make so you get there but to get there you have to put in the effort nothing comes for free hard work is very 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 essential to being successful and there's no shortcut to hard work so i hope this uh, short video helps and welcome to conceptual obj Thank you.